All right, so I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about the Miki Mekai, Mek, 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 I have no idea how to pronounce this brand. Really what they are though is just an extension tube set. They make any lens you have into a macro lens, um, which I think is pretty cool. This product right here only cost me $25 on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. I think they're an awesome little thing to have. Great for B-roll, that's what I shot everything with at the beginning of this video, was all with these. Um, I put my 16 to 35 on with these and I was touching what I was shooting. Literally the lens was touching what it was and it could barely focus, but it could focus. They are an autofocus um, tube set and they do make them for Canon, Nikon, and Sony. They do transfer data as well. So if you're taking photos and you're running a lens that gives data back, um, you'll still see that it was a 16 millimeter or a 70 millimeter or so on and so forth. In your Lightroom, you'll see that. The build quality is not that great. They're pretty loose. Your lens is pretty loose on the body when you put them on. But I mean, for $24, what do you expect? So macro lenses, if you don't know what they are, their purpose is to get really close up to things. So your minimum focusing distance is really close. That's exactly what these do. Um, I don't think it substitutes for a macro lens because it doesn't actually do anything you know, better. Um, they still give you autofocus. You're able to turn any lens into a macro lens. I did it on my 24 to 70, my 70 to 200, and it worked really good. The focusing range is pretty tight on those lenses but I was able to really figure out, and it still gives you stabilization with a stabilized lens. It gives you power to that stabilizer, which is awesome. So you still have a stabilized lens, autofocus, and then it makes it a macro lens. Those are three pretty cool things to do for $24. Um, to be able to throw these just in your backpack and take off and go get some really cool sand or like a leaf or an ant or something like that. It's pretty neat. I think they're really cool just to kind of have around. You can see a hair follicle with this, it's so good. I mean, like some of the leaves I've shot with this, you can see the little hairs on the ends of the leaves that you can't really see with a naked eye or even with just a standard lens. So I'm pretty pumped on it. All the video that you saw before this was all shot with these. Um, I'm definitely gonna be using these a lot in the future and I just wanted to tell you guys about them so you know that stuff like this is out there. Uh, I'll leave a link to the description of Amazon down below. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a little thumbs up. If not, sorry. Have a good one. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll see you later down the road. Maybe not. Oh well. I need an outro pretty bad. I don't have one of those yet. Uh, I'd love to just say, um, you know, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't think that'll happen though. I'll see you guys in the next one. I like that. That's taken by a lot of people. But we can say it. You know, who cares? Everyone copies everybody nowadays anyways, so um, we will. We will see you guys in the next one, though. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later, and take it easy. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I like that one. All right, bye.